Thank you all, and uh, thank you, Congressman Long, for that uh, incredible auction. Uh, this is the portion of the program that, uh, on one hand, uh, I have been dreading. Uh, on one hand, I've been looking forward to, and it's a chance for all of us uh, to take a moment and to honor Sheldon in a way that uh, I know we all want to do. And so I'd like to, we have a number of folks who are going to say a few words this evening, along, and we're also going to show a, um, a video um, that I think captures and highlights the incredible life and legacy of Sheldon Adelson. So if I can ask Senator Norm Coleman, Neely Fallick, and Ambassador Ron Dermer to all come up on the stage. So obviously, um, it is incredibly strange for me, and I suspect for most of you, to be in this room, in this incredible setting, at an RJC meeting in Las Vegas and not be with Sheldon. Um, his absence is a huge void uh, for everyone in our group, but tonight we are comforted uh, by so many who have been touched by him, and we are inspired by paying tribute to our dear friend and my mentor, Sheldon. As you all know the story, Sheldon personified the American dream. He went from a poor childhood in Boston to the heights of achievement. Throughout his life, Sheldon was curious, creative, persistent, and committed to helping others in so many ways. On a personal level, I learned so much from Sheldon, from his way of looking at problems and for those of you who knew him well, you also knew his incredible sense of humor and his perseverance in hard times. Sheldon enjoyed the little things like hot dog lunch every Friday in the office, and he also enjoyed the big things. He enjoyed being with people. He loved being at the RJC and having everybody come over and talk with him and share what's on their mind. Sheldon was devoted to his family, he found his true partner in Miriam, and together they did great things. Sheldon loved this country, and with Miriam beside him, he put so much of his energy and resources into fighting to protect our freedom and rights as Americans. He, we also know how deeply he loved Israel, and he supported the security and the success of the Jewish people and the Jewish state. Together, Sheldon and Miriam created medical institutions that save lives every day. They supported cultural institutions that connect us to our history and the land of Israel. And they set up educational institutions that are developing and training the future leaders of tomorrow. It is impossible to describe in a few words all the tremendous things that Sheldon and Miriam built. Thanks to Miriam's strength and courage, their shared vision and good works will continue into the future. And that's really where we all come in. Sheldon showed us how to use our own personal talents and resources to make a difference. We each have an obligation to do our part to support Israel, to fight anti-Semitism, and to support the Republican Party and our candidates. Like the uh, Rothschilds and the Montefiores, Sheldon Adelson leaves an enduring legacy of doing great good for the Jewish people and the state of Israel. And his contribution to America, this amazing land of freedom and opportunity, are truly match, unmatched in our time. The example that Sheldon left us should call us, should inspire us to continue his work so as we say, may his memory be a blessing. Sheldon was certainly a blessing to each and every one of us during his life, and his memory, his legacy, will continue to be a blessing for the Jewish people, for, this fa for his family, and for all of us. Thank you.
And with that, please, please welcome Senator Coleman. As Matt has, has noted, he, he talked about the Montefiores and the Rothschilds, and uh, we were all blessed to have lived in the time of the greatest philanthropist, I think, in Jewish history. We, we lived in the time of Sheldon Adelson. He embodied the mitzvah of Zedekah, and, and he lived in Tacon Alum. He was the heart and soul, the rock and foundation of the Republican Jewish coalition. He supported Republican principles things that enhanced entrepreneurship, freedom, opportunity, but he never, ever, for personal gain. He simply wanted every child to have the opportunity for success. He lived, he was the embodiment of the American dream, and he wanted to ensure that that dream was still alive for others. And the Jewish element of the RGC, well, that, that was reflected in, in the extraordinary commitment that he had to Eretz Yisrael the birthplace, the, the, the eternal homeland of the Jewish people, together with, with his wife Mary, his, his partner, his best friend. Their support of Israel and the Jewish people has been unparalleled in history. Hashem broke the mold with Sheldon's passing. How many billionaires do you know who, whose dad were a taxi driver, mom owned a knitting shop, grew up in a one-room tenement, who sold newspapers, a, windshield, uh, the, the ISIS, the ISIS, okay, candy machines, did bus tours, Vegas hotels. The answer is zero, because there never was and never will be another Sheldon Adelson. He was, by the way, a serial entrepreneur. I was with him one time, Matt, it was at an RJC event. And, and uh, somebody came up and said they had just won a $500 million verdict. It was a terrorism case. Sheldon listened, and a guy left, and I walked out. I said, Sheldon, the guy just told you he won $500 million verdict, and you didn't even blink an eye. You did nothing. And he said, he says, because I lost that today, but, I, but I'm going to get it back tomorrow. <laughs> there, there is a line in the Torah that, that sums up Sheldon's confidence and his drive to succeed. It's in Deuteronomy. You got to remember Adonai, your God, because it is he who is giving you the power to get wealth in order to confirm the covenant which he swore to your ancestors as it is happening today. Whether he was up or down, I have to believe that every day in business, Sheldon remembered that Adonai, his God, and all the abilities and opportunities he gave to him was, was, was his gift. And everyone in this room, and literally millions of Americans and Israelis, have been the beneficiaries of those gifts. I mourn Sheldon's passing, but he will never, ever be forgotten. Ms. Fallon? Good evening. My name is Nili Falik, and uh, it is with indeed many mixed feelings and emotions that I stand here tonight to honor Sheldon Edelson Zichrono Livracha, or blessed memory. For as far as I can recall, I don't remember any significant event, whether in American politics or for Israel or the Jewish people, where Sheldon was not in the room. And together with Miri, the love of his life, by his side always. And either they were honored or they were there to honor others with their presence. Yet tonight, we are celebrating a man of the past, present, and the future, since he impacted all three of them. And we all know, and it was repeated and said again, that he was a magnate 
interpreter. He was a, magne a magnanimous philanthropist to Israel, to the Jewish people, to America. Echad Bedoro, one in his generation. He was a visionary, a courageous leader, and always focused and driven by principles and values. I knew him, I had the fortune to know him, and that's the man I saw in public and in private. And above all, he was a real mensch, admired by all. A very loving husband to Miriam, a loving and a giant of a father to his children and to his family, and a giant of a friend to all that cherish this friendship. Yesterday began the first night, the first day of Kislev, the month that we celebrate Hanukkah as the symbol of great courage of the Maccabees 2,000 years ago to fight for freedom, and they were victorious, as we all know. And commemorating it every year with the Festival of Lights. And Kislev in Hebrew is interpreted many times with the two words. Kis is a pocket, Lev is the heart. And indeed Sheldon personified all of the above. A US born patriot, an ardent Zionist, a great heart, and a visionary when he invested in worthy causes, in Israel's security and future in perpetuity, as well as the Jewish people. It is known that behind every great man, there is a great woman by his side. <laughs> Miriam, you are a true Eshet Chayil, a true woman of valor, always by his side, partnering in the legendary legacy which will carry the torch for generations to come. And as I often said and repeated many times before, when the history of the Jewish people of our generation will be written, there will be an entire chapter dedicated to Sheldon and Miriam Edelson. Good to have a mic. <laughs> so earlier today I was learning a bit of Torah, which is still not illegal, uh, with Rabbi Boteach, and we learned in this portion about the struggle between Yaakov and Esau. And in order to win his birthright, Yaakov had to struggle. He had to be active and not passive. And Sheldon Adelson was the biggest fighter for the Jewish people in our generation. And we are blessed to live at a time <laughs> where the Jews had a friend like Sheldon Adelson. Tonight, we remember a self-made man who loved this great country and who personified the American dream. 
we remember a big-hearted man who, along with his beloved wife, Mary, formed the greatest philanthropic partnership in the Jewish world and perhaps in all of Jewish history. We remember an iron-willed man who was indefatigably devoted to the Jewish people and the Jewish state. Sheldon's commitment went well beyond the financial resources he was prepared to spend. It was about using all his influence to make a difference in the life of his country, his people, and his homeland. And boy, did Sheldon Adelson make a difference. When you applaud the American decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital, thank Sheldon Adelson for doing everything in his power to make that happen. When you applaud, when you applaud the support of Republican Party leaders for the state of Israel, thank Sheldon Adelson for working year after year decade after decade to nurture and grow that support. Perhaps one day, many years from now, the full scale and scope of what Sheldon Adelson did for Israel will become known. But trust me when I tell you that Israel has never had a better friend and the U.S.-Israel alliance has never had a better champion and we may never have a better champion than Sheldon Adelson. It has been nearly a year since Sheldon passed away, and not a week has gone by where I have not thought about the tremendous void he leaves behind. It is true that great leaders are indispensable, but the greatest of leaders, the greatest of leaders, empower others to continue their work long after they are gone. I doubt I will ever meet anyone like Sheldon Adelson again, but I am confident, and this weekend should give us all confidence, that his remarkable legacy will endure. It will endure because you can bet that Mary is gonna do everything in her power to make sure that it endures. It will endure because Sheldon's example will inspire others who can make a difference to step forward, and I hope that includes many people in this room. And above all, it will endure because the Jewish people are an eternal people, a people who will never forget one of its proudest sons, a modern-day Maccabee who used all the blessings God gave him to secure the Jewish future. Yehi zicho baruch. So if you will now turn your attention to the screens we had produced along with the incredible team at uh, Jamestown Associates, Larry Weitzner, Barney Keller, who was here, uh, Ken Kerson. Uh, we really did this as a, a love project and a way to have a lasting legacy, a lasting tribute uh, to Sheldon. So if I can uh, call your attention to the screens, we can roll the video. Sheldon Adelson was a colossus, a five foot six inch giant of a man whose sheer force of will moved mountains. This gruff, scrappy son of a Boston cab driver who stood up to anti-Semitic bullies as a youth, simply would not allow any obstacle to stand in his way. He was a tough kid. Tough kid from the standpoint of, uh, we grew up in a, a mostly Jewish neighborhood and we were subjected to anti-Semitism when we were young and Sheldon was always there. He was strong and he never walked away from a fight. And he was sort of security for us. The outlines of his story are well known, legendary in fact. Sheldon had the vision to imagine a new Las Vegas and the persistence to make it a reality. Where others saw Sin City, Adelson envisioned Comdex, 
He built it into the largest computer trade show in the world. And then, at its peak, sold the whole thing to enter the most competitive field imaginable, the casino business. Adelson tore down the sands to build the Venetian, a huge risk that many thought would fail badly. Back then, casinos were built based on the premise that the rooms shouldn't be too enticing because guests belong on the gambling floor. Adelson knew better. He made the standard Venetian room a gigantic suite that would entice gamblers to book their rooms there, bring their spouses who could shop at their stores and eat at their restaurants. And Sheldon built enormous conference space, including the one hosting the RJC, that brought millions more visitors to Las Vegas. Sheldon was right. But he didn't stop there. He pursued international licenses to expand and grow the business, correctly anticipating a trend and making it a reality before it was obvious to the world. But for Adelson, it was never about just doing well. It was about doing good. In the course of their 2,600-year history, the Jewish people have never been blessed with a stronger, more effective, more generous, or more creative advocate than Sheldon G. Adelson. At a time when Israel's very right to exist has been under fire, Adelson responded with a moral clarity and conviction. That's because Sheldon Adelson was a man who knew what he believed. He believed the Jewish people have a right to survive and that they required a single small country, Israel, to do so. Sheldon Adelson put his billions behind his dreams and he did so in the most audacious ways imaginable spending hundreds of millions on birthright Israel to ensure that young Jews outside of the homeland got a first-hand look at this beautiful country. Sheldon understood the significance of shaping a vibrant and secure shared future for Israel and the Jewish people at large. He proceeded by bringing the next generation of Jews to Israel and bringing in Israel to Jewish communities from across the globe. Sheldon overcame great tragedy and loss and dedicated his energy and resources to the causes he considered most essential. He changed many lives and will be fondly remembered for the unparalleled acts of chesed, benevolence and grace which he bestowed upon us. The state of Israel owes a profound debt of gratitude to Sheldon Adelson. It's gonna be hard to find people who can fill his large shoes. Sheldon, I miss you. The Jewish people miss you. The state of Israel misses you. And the world will simply not be the same place without you. Adelson was a generous benefactor to Republicans and so many causes from fighting drug addiction to Jewish education in his hometown. Betty and I had started a drug rehabilitation program for young people. He really wanted to open one of our programs up in Boston to service the children and young people of Boston. And he used a term, which I guess I'd heard before, but was amazing, Tikom Olam, repair the world. And over the 40 years that I knew him, he was the most amazing man on exactly that, repairing the world. He come Olam, and he did it consistently. Sheldon loved the Republican Jewish coalition with all his heart. He was generous with his funding, time, and leadership. This will be the first RJC meeting in Las Vegas where we will miss his presence. We miss him dearly. I am comforted by knowing that he knows the incredible impact uh, that he had uh, while he was with us. Uh, and I hope that he is looking down upon us and, and continuing to take pride uh, in all that he has done and accomplished. I was inspired by his generosity. I was inspired by his commitment to the American dream. I was inspired by his commitment to Israel. And so as, as I go live my life, I. I, I, that inspiration will, I, I hope, always move me to, to, to do the right thing, to, to do things that, 
that strengthen the state of Israel, committed to that, to do things that strengthen the, the, the land of opportunity, the American dream. Sheldon lived it. He, he was a beacon for, for those of us who, who shared that vision. Uh, and uh, his legacy will, will, I think, kind of last, last forever. America's great leaders miss Sheldon's wisdom and friendship. Sheldon was a conservative thinker and a very generous donor. Uh, I don't think he expected much, at least I didn't feel that way, uh, except good government and uh, a, a philosophical grounding uh, in entrepreneurship and uh, a foreign policy that protected uh, you know, the, the innocent and one that uh, was loyal to our allies. And uh, he meant a lot to the Republican Party. He was, a, uh, uh, he, he was, he was incredibly generous. Sheldon was always fighting to move our embassy to Jerusalem. Thereby, it becomes the capital of Israel. He got his wish. Sheldon was a great warrior. He was a great friend with an incredible family. We miss you, Sheldon. Take care. We'll see you again. For 40 years that we were partners, I don't know if any days went by that we didn't talk on the phone. When he passed away, I still, I remember looking at the telephone every day, thinking that I might hear from him, I might be called. I couldn't, couldn't really believe that I wasn't gonna be talking to him on the phone. He was, he was part of me. The giant of a man who accomplished what most men strive for but could never accomplish. He did. He impacted everything that he touched and all for the better. And by his side for almost 30 years was his true partner in life and in love, his beloved Mary. Theirs was a true fairy tale love story, inseparable, impactful, unbreakable. My dear Mary, I send you and the entire Edelson family a big hug. Whilst we continue to miss Sheldon's warm personality, his humor and candor, we are inspired by his legacy of leadership, generosity, and dedication to the state of Israel and Jewish people. And we are blessed by your dedication, devotion, and leadership as well. Sheldon's family misses his warm smile and deep love. Perhaps Adelson's most lasting impact, an indelible mark that will endure as surely as the legend of Masada, remains his heroic defense of the Jewish state. Israel will miss his unwavering support. He was a leading force in pressing for the recognition of Jerusalem and moving the American embassy there. He was a leading voice in the need to confront Iran. And he was one of the greatest champions of the U.S.-Israel alliance. Sheldon was as proud a Jew as anyone I've met. He not only put his money where his mouth was, he put his money where his heart was. And there is nothing that he loved more than the two countries that he felt so keenly attached to, the United States of America and the Jewish state of Israel. This last year, both of our nations have mourned the loss of a good man and a great patriot. And both of us owe him a tremendous debt of gratitude. May his memory be forever blessed. America made Israel tough. Sheldon leaves behind a world changed forever by the hand of an indomitable kid from Boston. Sheldon G. Adelson, may his memory be for a blessing and always in our hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Miriam Adelson. Thank you. Yes, I was blessed every morning instead of Moderni. I thank God for 32 and a half years 
of getting this gift of life, the love of my life. We had a fantastic marriage. He loved me, I loved him. I miss the way he was looking at me or smiling at me. He taught me a lot. And he was the greatest man I've ever met in my life. Look at this. During the corona time, he decided that he was going to continue to pay full salaries and benefits to all his employees here in Macau, in Singapore. I paid in my clinic all the salaries. All our private employees got a full salary. 55,000 people are still getting their salaries. <laughs> Sheldon was my Mori and Rabbi, my teacher. Taught me a lot. So, shalom, friends. Gazing upon this fine crowd, I'm reminded of a line from the book of Salm. Hinei matov umanaim, shevet achim gam yachad. Behold how good and how pleasant it is when brothers and sisters dwell together in unity. It certainly is good and pleasant to see you all here again, healthy, happy, and as always, energetically advancing the important causes of the RJC. But, of course, this conference is clouded by profound sadness, the sadness of a great absence, that of our beloved Sheldon, the love of my life. Ben Bait is Hebrew for someone who feels entirely at home, like part of the family. Sheldon regarded all of you as his Bnei Bait whenever you convened here. And he felt equally at home among you, fellow proud Jews, and fellow proud Republicans who care deeply about America, about its alliance with Israel, and about its role as global leader. The one time I addressed the RJC instead of Sheldon was 10 years ago, after he came down with the flu and sent me to Los Angeles, and I received an award on his behalf at the Hollywood Gala. And here, I stand alone again. But Sheldon's spirit continues to guide me. As his 32 and a half year partner, in political activism and philanthropy, I know what he would say to you now if he were at this podium. Keep up the fight. There is more work to be done. Never compromise your values. Stand up for what you believe in, even if you stand up alone. And never quit. The Republican Party is strong, thank God. So is Am Israel, the Jewish people, and its eternal homeland, Israel. But as we have seen over the last year, this array is a constant menace. This is a time of great moral confusion, of noise without substance, of play acting instead of policy making. It's not enough to be just Republican or just Jewish or a friend of the Jewish people. The third word of this organization named coalition 
is more crucial than ever. We must strengthen partnership both within the party and across the aisle. We must strive for more unity among Jews, no matter the denominations. And we must ensure the U.S.-Israel relationship goes from strength to strength, even as it is tested by major changes in Washington and in the Middle East. Sheldon was a Boston-born U.S. Army veteran. I am a Tzabra and former IDF soldier. We like to think of our marriage as an embodiment of the union between our two great nations. That coalition spirit lives on in me, in our children, and in the organizations he and I championed, such as the RJC. Friends, we have come together to honor Sheldon. Let us not make do with a trip down memory lane. Let us also charge ahead toward a better future that he dreamt of. Let us do our best to realize that dream. Thank you. <laughs>